Capital One has three different Saver credit cards. One of them has an annual fee and the other two have no annual fee. So how do they compare? For starters, the two no annual fee Saver One credit cards are mostly the same. The main difference is that one of these cards has a $200 welcome bonus when you spend $500 within the first three months, while the other card is for someone who has a lower credit score, but there is no welcome bonus. Since the $200 welcome bonus adds a ton of value, I would not get the no annual fee saver one credit card that has no welcome bonus. Otherwise, the cash back and everything else is the same. The only other difference is that the saver one credit card that has no welcome bonus has a higher APR. And also that the Saver One card that has a welcome bonus has an introductory 0% APR for the first 15 months. Otherwise, the cash back and everything else is the same. So let's compare the cash back between the Saver One credit card and the Saver credit card that has a $95 annual fee. Both cards give 8% cash back on Capital One Entertainment purchases, 5% cash back on hotels and rental cars booked through Capital One Travel, 3% cash back at grocery stores, which does not include Walmart or Target and 1% cash back on every other purchase that is outside of those higher cash back categories. The Saver card, which is the one that has the annual fee, gives unlimited 4% cash back on dining, entertainment, and popular streaming services. The Saver One card, on the other hand, which has no annual fee, gives 3% cash back in these categories instead. Capital One also has a 10% cash back offer with Uber that is available until November 14th, 2024 which gives 10% cash back on purchases on Uber and Uber Eats. Plus, you can get your monthly Uber One membership fee covered. I'd also like to note that there are no rotating categories with these credit cards. You also don't have to activate anything in order to get that cash back. Cash back is unlimited and does not expire. Another benefit of both credit cards is that neither one has foreign transaction fees. Although both cards do have a high APR and late payment fees, there are two other differences between the Saver and the Saver One credit card. The no annual fee saver one has a $200 welcome bonus when you spend $500 within the first three months. My referral link will be down below. And it also offers 0% APR for the first 15 months. The saver credit card, which has a $95 annual fee, does not have a 0% APR introduction offer. But the welcome bonus for the saver card is $300 when you spend $3,000 within the first three months. When it comes to redeeming cash back, there are no minimum redemption requirements. Rewards are displayed in cash value. You can redeem these rewards for statement credits, gift cards. You can use the rewards to redeem purchases at Amazon, Apple, or PayPal. They can also be redeemed into Capital One Travel, Capital One Entertainment, or Capital One Merchandise. Unfortunately, there is no way to redeem cash back as cash into a checking or savings account. I'd also like to quickly mention Capital One's app, which is where you can manage your Capital One credit cards and Capital One bank account. Capital One has a very simple app that is easy to use. You can also view your credit score for free within the app, along with being able to get additional cash back when shopping at select merchants. Is the Saver card worth the $95 annual fee? The answer is that the Saver One credit card that has no annual fee and also has a $200 welcome bonus is going to be the best card out of the three for the vast majority of people. The Saver card really only offers an additional 1% cash back on some of the categories. In order to justify the annual fee, you have to spend around $10,000 in the 4% cash back categories. An additional 1% cash back on select categories is not going to be worth the annual fee for the majority of people. Although it could be worthwhile for someone who wants to take advantage of that $300 welcome bonus for the first year. And possibly for someone who spends a lot more than the average person when it comes to dining, entertainment, and popular streaming services. Otherwise, the Saver One card that has no annual fee is an excellent card for someone who is looking for a sweet $200 welcome bonus. And for those who want unlimited 3% cash back on dining, entertainment, grocery stores, and popular streaming services.